Psalm 62. We'll begin reading verse number 1. The Bible says, Truly my soul waiteth upon God. Boy, that's hard sometimes, isn't it? But it sure is good when He shows up, isn't it? From Him cometh my salvation. He only is my rock, Brother James. He never changes. Hmm? Huh? He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. How long will ye imagine mischief against a man? Ye shall be slain, all of you, as a bowing wall shall ye be, and as a tottering fence. They only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies. They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. Selah. My soul waiteth thou only upon God, for my expectation is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times, ye people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us, Selah. Surely men of low degree are vanity, and men of high degree are a lie. To be laid in the balance, they are altogether lighter than vanity. Trust not in oppression. Become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. God hath spoken once, twice have I heard this, that power belongeth unto God. Also unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy, for thou renderest to every man according to his work. Let's pray. Father, we bless your holy name. We sure do thank you for the good singing that blessed our hearts. And God, we bless you for the good testimonies uh, that, Lord, thrilled our hearts. Lord, it's always a blessing to hear people brag on you. God, uh, uh, the one writer said that if it had been recorded of all the works you'd done while you walked on earth, that the world could not contain the books. And God, if we truly praised you and blessed you for all you've done in our lives, Lord, uh, again, uh, we would not have enough hours in a day, and there were not enough words in the vocabulary, uh, not enough adjectives to describe how wonderful and how great you really are and how great you have been to us Lord, we do bless you and thank you for choosing to be our friend. Now, Father, I pray you'd help us now from the Word of God. I pray that, Lord, uh, you would strengthen us. You'd continue to stir our hearts and our remembrance unto thee. And God, continue to do great things around here, not for our benefit, uh, but for the benefit of those around us that they'd see the working and uh, would experience the power of God uh, and we'd see many come to Christ in these days. Uh, Lord Jesus, we love you. Thank you for first loving us. For it's in your holy name we do ask these things. Amen and amen. Uh, as a way of introduction, this is a psalm of David. Uh, David uh, uh, is in distress. David is run to the Lord. Uh, I highly recommend when you are in distress or when you are stressed or when you are depressed uh, 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 or when you are oppressed or anything to do with the press, uh, run to the Lord. Uh, if you can get to Him, you'll find a refuge uh, in the midst of your being pressed. Uh, but notice David's determination in verse number 1. Uh, he says, Truly my soul waiteth upon God. From him cometh my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. Uh, we find David's determination. Uh, uh, David uh, uh, realized that uh, his hope was in the Lord. His salvation was in the Lord. The Lord had been the rock of his life. Uh, uh, the Lord had always defended him. Uh, uh, the Lord had always been there. Uh, and even though right now David's in a mess, even though right now there are people seeking to destroy him, uh, he said, this thing I will do. I will wait upon the Lord. Uh, hey, friends. 
things. Uh, uh, there sometimes it seems like you don't know which way is up. Uh, it seems like the heavens are shut up uh, and there is brass. Uh, it seems like your prayers aren't being heard. Uh, seems like your songs are drying up. Uh, uh, seems like there is no hope. Uh, uh, friend, uh, no matter where you find yourself, uh, just tie and not hang on uh, and just wait on God. Uh, he's never late. Uh, he's always right on time. Uh, he knows where you are. Uh, hey, he's on his way. Uh, and friend, just wait on him. He is your rock and your refuge. Uh, we see his determination. Now notice his detractors. We find in verse number 3, the Bible says, uh, How long will you imagine mischief against a man? Ye shall be slain, all of you, as a bowing wall shall you be, and as a tottering fence. Uh, now look at verse 4. They only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies. They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly, Selah. As we said the other night, you do have a foe. And there are people who do not like your stand on, on the Bible. There may even be church people who do not like it when you get full of God. Uh, 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 they might bless with their mouth, but inwardly they curse you. Uh, uh, listen, he said there were some uh, 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 who were consulting together to cast him down from his excellency uh, or his uh, being the king. Uh, 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 he said that they uh, delighted in lies. Uh, and friend, uh, if you live for Jesus, uh, you mark her down, somebody's going to lie on you. Uh, uh, somebody he's going to try and uh, uh, zap the joy out of you. Uh, uh, somebody uh, uh, doesn't want to see you on fire for God because every day you're on fire for God. Uh, you're an indictment against them because they're not on fire for God. Uh, and rather than get right with God, uh, they'd rather bring you down. Uh, uh, friend, just hang out with the Lord. Uh, just stay on fire. Uh, just keep asking Him to throw another log on the fire. Uh, hey, just keep living for Jesus. Uh, I just keep singing praise unto God. Hey, let them lie. Uh, let them do all they can do. Because uh, uh, I learned this thing a long time ago. Sticks and stones may break your bones, uh, but words will never harm you. Uh, but hey, God hears every lie. Uh, God hears every falseness. Uh, hey, and listen, he said, vengeance is mine. Uh, I will repay, saith the Lord. Uh, if you just keep your eyes on Jesus, it don't matter what anybody says. Then I see this. Notice his defense. I learned a long time ago, the more you try to defend yourself, the more guilty they'll try to make you look. So just quit trying to defend yourself. Let God do it. The Bible says, let God be true and every man a liar. Huh? Look at David's defense, verse number 5. He says, My soul waiteth thou only upon God, for my expectation is from Him. He only is my rock and my, uh, my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. We find in verse 2, he said, I shall not be greatly moved. Here he said, I shall not be moved at all. Uh, he said, mark her down. Uh, I'm going to hang out with God. Uh, he's my salvation. He's my rock. Verse 8, trust in him at all times. Uh, ye people, pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Uh, say, uh, uh, can I say, he said, I'm just going to let God defend me. Hmm? He's my defense. Hmm? Next time somebody tries to say, why do you go to church? Just say this, Jesus. Why are you so happy? Jesus. Why are you not worried about COVID-19? Jesus. And think about it. Why do I worry about something that's only got 19 when Jesus gave me 66 books? Huh? 66 is greater than 19. Huh? Oh, why, why, why? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Uh, I got him on my mind. Huh? But then notice his digest or his summary of all of it. As he goes to explain to others, this is what you need to do. Verse number 9, he says, Surely men of low degree are vanity, men of high degree are lie. To be laid in the balance, they're altogether lighter than vanity. 
trust not in oppression and become not vain in robbery uh, if riches increase set not your heart upon them uh, God has spoken once twice if I heard this uh, that power belongeth unto God uh, also unto thee O Lord belongeth mercy for thou renderest to every man uh, according to his work uh, you know what he's saying uh, he's saying power comes from God uh, mercy is of the Lord uh, and you reap what you sow uh, uh, so sow in righteousness uh, do right uh, cause God's always going to do right and bless you for it that's what he's saying that's the digest of it all well there are three verses that caught my attention when I was reading this the other day verse number two David says speaking of the Lord he says he only is my rock In verse number five he says my soul wait thou only upon God and verse 6 he says again he only is my rock I'm interested in that word only I looked it up what it meant uh, and it has some very distinct definitions can I say that word only means one alone he said uh, God uh, is my one alone uh, in other words, he's saying God is my majority. Me and God's all I need. I don't need anybody else. Uh, God alone uh, is all I need. Uh, he alone uh, will sustain me. Uh, he alone will save me. Uh, he alone will secure me. Uh, he alone will supply my needs, Brother Ray. Uh, he alone. I don't have to look to anyone else. Uh, he only is who I need. Uh, it says uh, one alone. Can I say this? The Lord said uh, uh, that he is the Lord uh, and beside him there is none else. Uh, uh, if God only is all I've got, uh, i got good news for you. Uh, God only is far more than I ever need. Uh, hey, i just hang out with him. Uh, but that word only not only seems, means one alone, uh, it also means uh, this and no other. Uh, it said... Uh, one alone but also this and no other uh, not only is he my only uh, I don't need any other uh, I just hang with him uh, hey uh, uh, the Bible makes it clear when heaven and earth are passed away uh, you can still stand on his promises uh, uh, this uh, and no other I don't need anyone else I don't need to look for anyone else uh, I don't need to hear from anyone else uh, I'll just hang with God only uh, uh, not only does it mean one alone uh, and this and no other uh, but it also means this uh, only means this above all others uh, uh, can I say uh, I highly uh, uh, affectionately look to him above all others uh, 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 listen uh, he's higher than the highest uh, he's greater than the greatest uh, it doesn't matter what the governor says uh, it doesn't matter what the mayor says uh, it doesn't matter what the senators say uh, and bless God even though I'm for him it doesn't matter what the president says uh, there's one even higher than him uh, his name is Jesus uh, he is above all others uh, and oh I'm glad he's mine uh, and I am his uh, uh, but that word only also means this uh, it means this uh, and no otherwise uh, in other words no variation from him uh, I, he is absolutely mine uh, and I am his uh, I don't have to vary from one word of his word uh, I don't have to vary from one thing that he's ever done uh, I'll just stick with God only uh, and then it means this uh, lastly that word only means uh, it means without more uh, in other words you can't get any more than him uh, uh, it means there's nothing greater than him uh, hey I don't need any more than what he can give me uh, but I found uh, uh, even if he exhausts all the meal in the meal barrel uh, uh, the next time you need some it'll be there uh, even if you pour out all the oil from the cruise of oil uh, the next time you need it uh, it'll be there uh, hey even if you're thirsty uh, and you used up the fountain uh, uh, the next time you gotta need a drink uh, that fountain will bubble up within uh, I'm a telling you uh, uh, listen uh, you can't get any more than what God's got uh, cause he's got it all my dear friends uh, so with all that in mind I'm gonna preach on only God Amen. only God you know what we need uh, around here more just him. That's right, 
Uh, I feel sorry for these churches think you got to have a pageant. You got to have a program. You got to have a play. Uh, you got to have a light show. Uh, you got to have screaming guitars. Uh, uh, you got to have a dynamic, uh, a charismatic preacher that never raises his voice uh, but has command of the language. Uh, and you got to have this and got to have that. You know what we need? Just him. Yes. Only God. Yes. He'll do. Huh? Well, I got to thinking about that. Uh, can I say this? Only God can create. Only God can create. Man's never created anything. Say, so, well, man made this, uh, and man made that, uh, and man made this. Well, you've got to understand, man never made anything. Uh, man's able to take elements, uh, and man's able to take materials, uh, and because of the intellect God's given him, uh, man can take two materials and put them together and build something, uh, or take two polymers and put them together and make a substance that can be used for something else, uh, but man never created anything. Uh, God took nothing uh, and made everything. Uh, uh, God stepped out on nothing uh, and created everything. Uh, God created every star. Uh, God created the sun. Uh, God created the moon. Uh, God created light. Uh, God created the earth. Uh, God created everything after its own kind. Uh, God created every flower, uh, every blade of grass, uh, hey, every beast of the field. Uh, God made it all. Uh, God created man uh, in his own image. Uh, and from man, God created woman. Uh, God created everything that's ever been created. Uh, only God can create. Uh, Say, so what do you need? Why do you want to hang out with him? Because he's the creator. Uh, everything else came from him. He's the creator. I thought about this. Only God can convert a sinner. Mm. Uh, Oh, AA tries to get a drunk to quit drinking. Religion tries to get a sinner to turn over a new leaf. Huh? Oh, education tries to enlighten a man's mind in the way he should think. But only God can reach down from heaven, take a filthy, vile sin. Uh, in the depths of depravity uh, lying in his own vomit uh, and only God uh, I can reach down uh, and touch that old boy's life uh, and save his soul uh, and take that same sorry no good sinner uh, and sit him in the church uh, and have him sing in the choir uh, a victory in Jesus uh, can have him testify and praise God uh, I once was lost uh, but now I'm found uh, I once was a sinner uh, now I'm a saint uh, I once was going to hell uh, but now I'm going to heaven uh, uh, why uh, not because of AA uh, not because of religion uh, not because of education uh, because Jesus came to me uh, and he told me he loved me uh, and I put my faith in him uh, and he saved me uh, and he converted me uh, and made a new creature out of me uh, only God can do that uh, Preacher can't save. Choir can't save. Uh, singers can't save. Uh, prayers can't save. Uh, but I tell you who can. Uh, Jesus saves. Uh, Jesus saves. Uh, Jesus saves. Hallelujah. Only God can do that. Could I say this? Only God can change things. The uh, Bible says, can a leopard change his spot? Can any man... Uh, 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 add a, 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 a cubic to his stature? Can an Ethiopian change the color of his skin? No, we can't. Only God can change things. I got to think about some things he changes. First of all, he changed your outlook. Huh? Change your outlook. Some of you used to be Eeyore, doom and gloom. And now, your unicorn's bright and sunny. Huh? Huh? Think about it. Brother Brian, where you at? Remember your outlook? Used to be a bottle. Used to be pills. Used to be smelling fumes from a Harley. Used to be a life of destruction. But oh, you had no idea that day in North Carolina. You uh, 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 just groped into church house uh, thinking you know all you need to know about church because your upbringing. Uh, 
But that day, uh, you met the master. Uh, and all of a sudden, uh, your outlook changed. Uh, it's no longer about a bottle. Uh, it's about a fountain. Uh, uh, it's about a well. Uh, spring it up. Uh, it's no longer about getting high on pills. Uh, it's getting high on Jesus. Uh, it's no longer about a Harley. Uh, it's about a chariot of fire going to take you out of here one day. Uh, I'm telling you, change your outlook. Uh, I used to. You probably said something like this. Uh, I'm going to go to hell and party with my friends. Uh, now you say I'm heaven bound. Uh, and I'm going to rejoice with my family. Uh, what a blessing. Only Jesus can change your outlook. He changed your outlook. Uh, oh. Uh, he changed the outlook around here last few weeks. Uh, used to folks say, can God send revival? Now we're saying, how long is he going to send revival? Huh? Oh, it changed outlook. I thought about this. It changed your opportunities. Huh? I mean, some of you testifying where the doors were shut. But now he heard and answered prayers. Huh? The opportunities have changed. Some thought you never would, and now you are. Huh? Why? Because Jesus changes things. Let me help you. If you hadn't figured this out, He is the final authority. Hmm? Can I say this? He changes outcomes. Huh? The world, religion, and even family members will say, you might as well give up on Randy. But see, they're not in control. Only God can change outcomes. I ain't giving up on him. He's a good old boy. Just needs the Lord. Uh, hey, if God can save him, get him. Randy's a piece of cake. Huh? Uh, hey, you didn't want to come to this church. You came kicking and screaming. Now we couldn't get you out of here with a bulldozer. What changed? God. Huh? He changes outcomes. Huh? Phil used to be a foul mouth cussing a good old boy. God saved you and He changed you. And then He puts you in a Baptist church. He's changed your outcome. Now you're going home to see Mama and Daddy and Judy. Uh, what a blessing it's going to be. Hallelujah. Change the outcome. Uh, only God can do that. Say, so why you get so excited? Because I know Him. Only God can do that. Now I know there's some preachers think they can walk on water. I can too when it's frozen. Uh, but only God can change things. Can I say this?
If you enjoyed today's message, head on over to ibcforums.com and click on sermons. And don't forget to check out our other links in the notes section of today's broadcast. As always, thanks for listening.